And tonight, a mother desperate for answers, and a 25-year-old cold case is pushing back against the Tacoma Police Department. The disappearance of two-year-old Tika Lewis from a Tacoma bowling alley in 1999 rocked the community. This age progression photo shows us what she might look like today. For years, we've heard from Tika's mom, who has begged for justice. All I want is my little girl home. That's it. We're out here still looking for her, and we'll never give up. We just want closure. Whatever happened to Tika, we just want to know. But now, she says she is frustrated because a woman matching Tika's current description walked into a local Home Depot days ago. She says the tip was given to police, but she says she feels it was brushed off because they were dealing with other cases. Thanks for joining us for the News at 10. I'm Sabir Rayford. And I'm David Rose. Fox 13's Dave Detling is live outside that Home Depot where the possible sighting took place. Dave, what are Tacoma police telling you tonight? Well, we know that this case has never been closed, and they actively look into every potential tip. We have reached out to TPD, but have not yet heard back. And obviously, this mom has been looking for answers for 25 years, and she wants to know exactly what went down at this Home Depot. I want answers. I'm tired of being nice. Teresa Chapesky wants to see the video surveillance from this Home Depot after a woman matching her daughter's description allegedly walked in Monday night asking to use the bathroom. And this tip that I gave you is very huge. We don't want this girl to get away. Because what if it is Tika and now she's scared? Teresa says the Home Depot employee who made contact with the woman was Tika's uncle. My brother had the feeling like this could be your daughter. He would have never called me if it, he didn't feel like that. What if she knew that was her uncle and she's running? The tip was given to Tacoma police on Tuesday. Teresa says she submitted it herself, but says she didn't get an immediate call back. When she did, she says a detective said they were busy, adding, Well, we have a homicide to work on. I understand that. But this is a 25-year-old case, and who knows? This could be my daughter. While the case has never been closed, Tika's mom worries the woman in the video could be long gone. It might not be Tika, but it could be her. And we can't just wait. Let's wait a couple days. I need to look into it. No, you should have jumped on it when I told you about it. Yes, I'm very angry with the Tacoma Police Department. And Tika's mom telling me again, she wants to look at that surveillance video herself. She feels that her motherly instinct will be able to identify whether that woman allegedly seen inside the store is or is not Tika. But again, anyone with information about Tika's disappearance is urged to call Crime Stoppers or Tacoma Police. Reporting live tonight, Dave Detling, Fox 13 News.